Hi, my name is Cynthia O'Rourke and I'm here to tell you about my launch project that I created. This is for my Social Studies 10 course, which I will be teaching in January 2019. This unit plan is based on a content standard about ideologies. Students will work together as a group to create a simulation or an experience for the class that shows us what life was like within a specific ideology. In the first phase, students will look, listen, and learn. So we'll start with learning about First Nations governance in this area. I am very fortunate to work on the traditional territory of the Champagne and Asiac First Nations people. With the help of a local elder, we will create a simulation about First Nations governance, and this will give students a chance to see what kind of thing they're aiming for. In the next step, we will very briefly discuss the different ideologies so they can make an informed decision. In the next phase, they're going to ask tons of questions. So first, I want students to work individually to identify topics or questions that they want to know more about. Then they will get together with their group to make a big list of all the questions they came up with, hopefully adding some more as they brainstorm. Then as a class, we will share all of the lists so that everybody can see the different questions and add them to their own lists if they want to. I have also prepared a document with a number of questions and tables on it for them to consider as well. In the next step, students will understand at a deeper level. And I want them to understand two things. The first one is the simulation itself. So I've created a document for them called How to Create a Simulation with steps that they should go through in order to create some kind of great experience for us. And we will start by discussing what worked and didn't work in the simulation that we did at the beginning of this unit. Next, they begin their research, and this will probably take a few periods for them to do. And at the end of each research class, I want them to get back together with their class, or sorry, their group, and discuss what they've learned that day and what their next steps are. The next phase is navigating ideas. And now, together as a group, they're going to come up with an initial concept for their simulation. When they've got their idea, they're going to have a conference with me to show me what they came up with. I will then validate their wonderful ideas, which I'm really looking forward to seeing, and I will provide them with some suggestions and constructive feedback. After the conference, they should take the ideas that we discussed together and see if they can tweak their concept. The next step is to create a prototype. So they're going to start by creating a plan and deciding what they're going to do. They will then write a script for the simulation. Here's another point where they're going to conference with me for any more suggestions and so I can be sure that they've stayed focused on the general idea that they had. And a very important part is activity 14 where they're going to write personal reflective debriefing questions for after the simulation. It's a very important step in the simulation ensuring that students are able to connect their learning to their background knowledge, learning they've done before, and to their community and their daily life. In the next step, I want them to practice their simulation, possibly even record it, and then give each other feedback. Here they will then um, take that feedback and tweak their simulation a little bit more and make it as great as they can. And then finally, we're ready to launch. So students will do the simulation with the class, then lead them through the debriefing session, and then complete a self-assessment of their project. I'm really excited to see how this unit plan is going to work out in the new year, and I'll be sure to let you know how it goes. Thank you for watching.